So we're on a property today for septic inspection. Thankfully, it looks like the customer had some heavy equipment come in to help dig up these lids. Thankfully, because we've got about 18 inches over there and about 14 inches right here underneath all this rock. So we got the tank exposed right here and you can see this trash tank right here. A lot of wipes, feminine products, and if I had to guess, I would say probably over two feet of buildup on the scum layer, which is insane. We've got the outlet side over here. We've even got floating scum on this end. So tank probably hasn't been pumped out. Okay, so we've got 15 minutes elapsed and it is still draining out to the drain field, which is gonna be that way. Probably a smaller drain field. Uh, I don't think they have much room without getting into the driveway or going uphill. But if I had to guess this tank's probably about 750 to 1,000 gallons. So now that we got that part of the inspection out of the way, I'm gonna pump it down and check the structural integrity of the tank. Make sure there's no cracks, leaks. Make sure the baffles are on right. There's no corrosion. And then we'll go on our merry way to the next tank and do the exact same thing. Uh, but that scum layer on that first one is going to be tricky. Um, it's a lot of wipes. I have a feeling I'm going to get clogged up and clogged up over and over again.
Got this tank all the way pumped out. 
got the pictures of the inside just to make sure it's structurally sound a lot of times you run into a tank that's been buried and sealed off that gas will start to eat away and corrode the concrete from the inside out so always want to check that in my opinion if you don't get the septic tank pumped out to inspect the walls for cracks and stuff like that uh, you're doing your customers a disservice so after all this the new homeowner can rest assured that they're moving in to a working system and don't have to worry about it backing up and failing on them as soon as they move in so i've seen it happen and it sucks get all these hoses put up and then walk to that next septic tank do the water test on it first so that'll give me some time well that's going to get set up over there and it's another thick one so <laughs> two thick ones back to back thankfully I got the crust buster and my poop knife to get the job done in a more timely manner